you're one of the most hardcore Knicks fans I know. Yeah, I mean, it's... You're it's, for real. It is for real. There, there, it's, it's probably almost too for real. It maybe <laughs> takes up a little too much time and too big of a factor in my life. I don't see it that way. My wife does a little bit. <laughs> but I think I'm right where I need to be. You were, you were like the guy I feel like I can text when something happens with the Knicks. Like, you understand, that, you understand my pain and you understand my excitement. And you kind of filled that void for me because, you know, there's a lot of people when things don't always go well, they kind of jump ship or yeah. they, they turn to another sport like me I'm good or bad I'm loyal and you are the same way so yeah. I finally have that person in my life that no matter what I know <laughs> it could be midnight and I could talk about the Knicks with someone and I'm not just like on Twitter trying to find someone and not curse me out the sad thing is it's midnight for you in LA it's 3 a.m. for me <laughs> in New York, and I'm just like Ugh. Sam's up I got him <laughs> But uh, yeah, dude, you're like, I, I was so happy that you were like a for real. I feel like Knicks fans <clears throat> are good fans because you see McEnroe's at the game, Spike's at the games. Like they, they don't jump ship and it's been, it's been tough for a while, but we've stuck it out because we believe. And I think Porzingis gives us that hope, you know? Yeah, I, I recently had a discussion with someone uh, who was trying to get me off my Knicks loyalty. Like this Rich is- Rich Eisen, like, I heard Eisen, it. Who was like, this is why you should, and I said, I, Everything you're saying is insane. Like, the, the reasons why you're a fan is because you weather the storm when things aren't so good. And then when things are great, you get to say, I, I, I was on this ship from the beginning. Yeah. Because then, you know, the bandwagon people will come on I hate when the they're great. People. And that's, that's not me. But yeah, I, I, I remember the first Nick game I watched. It was the Trent Tucker, Martin Luther King. Three. Oh it was that. It, that was the game, and that's where I was like, "Oh my God, this this team is amazing." And that shot would not have counted today. No, it wouldn't even come close to counting. But point one seconds on the clock. Point one. Plenty of time. <laughs> Quick release. Quick release.